Yeah, hi, my name is Rami. I'm the one that's in charge of the website known as www.techieguys.net, which is the Linux blog. I know some people have sent me comments regarding the backup uh, tool, which is known as the Cuda, which is one which allows you to back up and store your system just like any usual backup system, but this is on Linux itself. I'm just going to go through a step by step guide. I said this is just a step by step guide on guiding you on how to install and set it up. Um, regarding the system itself, just to cut it short, it's just a backup system, just like any other backup tool that you've ever come across on the World Wide Web and that you see in shops as well. Now, to begin, what I'm going to do is basically do sudo at get update. So what this will do, of course, is it will check for any updates. It's going to, of course, ask for my password and everything. So I said, so I'll just type that in. It checks for the updates. Once it's done that, of course, the next stage, of course, will be to install SQL. Now I've already got uh, SQL on the system itself, so I don't need it. So in the cache itself, I mean, what you'll need to do, of course, is type in sudo apps get and it will be sql server the quantum instructions but I said I don't need to uh, type that in so what I'm going to do here is go to the next stage which is going to be uh, downloading and installing the Bakuda system itself so I'm going to get this particular screen as you can see now I'm not sure if you've ever set up, um, you know, Apache website. I mean, there is an article on my website on techieguys.net which allows you or explains um, regarding the Apache web server. So, as I said, this will just give you some sort of introductory on what you need to do. So, what you're going to do is you're going to select Internet Site. And that's all you're going to do. Just going to press Enter. It's going to ask for the system mail name. So if you haven't set up a mail server, as I said, um, you could leave this blank if you wanted to. But I said in my case, because I've already got a domain, I'm just going to enter my domain name, which is my mail server. And then I'm going to use that. And then, as I said, it's going to ask, do you want to configure the database? So you're going to have to select yes for that as well. And then it's just going to ask for the database administrator. Now, usually, in my advice, to make it easier for everyone, when it comes to the part, of, you know, it's it's a nightmare learning more than one password. You know, I mean, I've tried to memorize loads of passwords. It just drives me crazy. The easiest option, of course, is the password used to set up your Linux system or Debian system is use the same password. So set that as the main one. So if you're uh, known as admin and use a password like, I don't know, London65, then set it as London65. So I'm going to basically enter my admin password. And then it's going to ask me to confirm and create the password as well. Which is what I've done. It'll ask me to repeat it again. So I said, during the first three stages, do exactly the same, whereby you keep the same password, and then you select OK. It's just going to go through the setup itself, as you can see, your post fix, etc. So as you can see, it's doing all the download and installation of the actual program. So just give that a couple of minutes. Right, so that's basically completed now. So you can, it's done a few things. So you can see a long list of a few. Um, so everything is actually downloaded and installed. Next, of course, we'll be creating a directory for it. So that's what we're going to do next. Yeah, so basically, just coming back to the directory itself. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to cut and paste this. Is type in sudo mkdir, which is for make directory minus p, of course, is so that it says the necessary parent directories. 
and then I'm going to create the folder called uh, Bakula or directory forward slash backup. So I'm copying that and I'm also creating another uh, directory which is Bakula forward slash restore. The reason being, of course, is so that if at any point when I do the backup I want to restore it, it knows it's got a restoration point somewhere on the drive itself. So once I've it, I'm just going to press enter. So that's now basically created it for you. And so what we need to do here will be configuring or editing the configuration file, which is the, the cooler-dir.com. So if you, I'm just going to get, yeah, so as I was saying earlier on, um, so we're going to configure the, the cooler directory the comp file. But as I said, before I do that, I'm just going to enter this command here, which is sudo char minus r the cooler colon the cooler for slash the cooler so what that is indicating is I'm just gonna give right permissions of course to that particular folder so when you do that you're gonna press enter it will then basically take you to a next screen and everything once you've done that of course it's gonna be I'll use the ch mod now the reason I like to use ch mod of course is to make it easier because you're giving full right permissions to the actual folder itself so i'm going to use sudo ch mod minus r 700 so 700 means it gives read and write permissions to the vacula folder and um, the reason being if you don't do that when you try to do a backup it will reject the backup itself um, and basically it's just going to come in there, it's going to come and give you like, that's what it says, right, please use whatever commands you need to make it writable by using 755 or 777. So any number beginning with 700 plus means you're giving it read and write permissions, including executing permissions as well. Um, there is an article on techieguide.net, comment which one, because I've got like 50 on there already, but as I said, there's one giving you all the uh, the commands regarding what each of the numbers mean and what you know what they would do and um, so as I said now that we've made that we write I'm just going to go to the next screen which is basically it will be doing the rest of the configuration of the Vakula file itself now it's going back to the configuration file so what I'm going to do here now in the article as I said I'll put it as sudo nano uh, forward slash etc forward slash pakula forward slash pakula dash dir dot com I mean, as I said you could use uh, vi you could use vim you could use nano uh, you could use gedit whichever one I mean I like vi because as I said it's plain simple and at the same time it shows stuff in like color rather than normal black and white text kind of thing and then you have to search for it you know what to what you can uncomment and not comment and vice versa so it's plain simple so once you've done that you're just going to press enter and it should come with the file as you can see here which will give you the list of everything that you need to literally do so we're going to edit this file itself yeah so in this configuration class so you'll see this long list now the section you need to edit of course you have to go further down until about this point where it says basically standard restore template to be you know to be changed by you know console program you'll find below you've got job the name of course it'll call it restore files type equals restore it'll have your clients so basically your, your client could be either to leave it black as blank ID or call it whatever it is you want to call it. It by default will call it the name of your machine. So if your server or your username is called Timbuk2, it'll call it probably Timbuk2 ID. And then of course the file set is set as full set. Storage equals file. And then the full is the default one message is standard. Now the, the where location is what we need to edit. So basically in my case what we need to do 
Now, as you can see, because you've got the green box on the far end, it's not letting you type, etc. Now, on your keyboard, you're going to press the Shift and A, which goes to the end of it. So, basically, if you're using BI, it's Shift and A. And then, as I said, like that, you could then delete and just wipe out what you need to change. Now, in my case, the where location, if it's in the article that you follow, will be the cooler forward slash store. So basically, that's what you need to set it as. And then, so like that, every time it knows the store point without any problems. Right, now after that, we're going to go to the next line, which is the section which says list of files to be backed up. Now, you're not going to be changing much at all. All you're going to be doing here, of course, is in the section here, we're just going to press Enter. And then, tab. We're going to type in compression equals space caps g zip. So basically, as I said, so you're going to do it in the gzip format. As I said, as far as I know, you can also change it. You could put in, you know, make it as zip. You could make it as tar, whatever format it is. So basically, this is just a compression type. You want it as now gzip most if you go on the internet you'll find most files tend to be of gz with a format ending in dot gz which is the gzip format so i'm just using sticking with that one for the time being and then of course below that as you can see you've got here file equals file name so if you want to you know do a particular file um and then of course you've got this blue writing here which is notes you know forward slash backup it gives you a description what it does now where's this file here to be backed up i'm going to change it because at the moment it's saying user forward slash spin i'm going to change it because i want to back up my home directory or the root directory which I want. i'm just going to basically just leave it as a forward slash so basically, it's going to back up everything in that drive. I can, however, to make it easier, I can put my home directory, which is home and remote. You have to make sure you enter it correctly, unlike myself. I just did the in caps. So, and that will back up the remote directory. So if you've got multiple users, each what each user will have like home forward slash I don't know Max Steel, home forward slash Unreal, whatever it is. So I'm just gonna, as I said, if you want to back up the full route, you just put a forward slash and it will back up the whole directory for you. So once that's done, we're just gonna go further be down below what we just changed. Now you'll see something that says exclude. And you have like you know the open capture gear etc. Now the only one I want to edit here is the second and third line. So after you got two, you got file equals varlib bakula and then you've got file equals the non existent path block xyz that one. We're gonna change that to just forward slash bakula. So basically it's the bakula directory. Everything else you just leave it as it is. And that's it so just make sure it matches what i just can't paste it for you and all we have to do is then press escape on your keyboard it'll take you right to the bottom you press the shift on the corner and then you just type in wq and press enter now now will take you back to the next thing now wq is basically you're saving you're exiting and saving at the same time, or saving and editing, and saying, whichever way you want to put it, that's what that does. So basically, that's your configuration file for Bakuda setup. Now, there is another file that we need to edit as well, which will then basically, after that, that will be editing the full configuration. So, yeah, so next one, next file we're going to edit, of course, is the uh, an etc. Forward slash Bakuda, forward slash Bakuda dash SD.com. So I'm, I'm using sudo vi as well to do that. Now, when I continue, the one that the other thing I did mention, of course, is if you're not the root user, 
we have to use sudo. 